Welcome back everyone, my name is Last No Meal and today we are going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077 again, but bear with me, in this video we talk about Cyberpunk 2077 possible character classes by dwelling into the classes from the original Cyberpunk 2013 and 2020 pen and paper role playing game. So if you're not familiar with pen and paper RPGs, basically imagine playing an RPG but with pen and paper and also you take the role of the character and you make decisions based on that character to progress the story and Dungeon Master is the one crafting the story and leading you and your party through the story and for every decision or ability you roll a dice and then based on the number of that dice your decision is reviewed and also your actions that you take are reviewed by the Dungeon Master. If you want to learn more I'm going to leave you some links down below so you can check them out and learn all about pen and paper RPGs. Basically Cyberpunk 2077 made by CDPR is based on a pen and paper RPG called Cyberpunk. Now I already covered this in my previous video so go and watch that if you want to learn more about the Cyberpunk as a pen and paper in general. So um, today I want to talk about all the possible character classes we will be able to choose from in the game and learn abilities based on them. Now assuming we will have a chance to do that in the game but since this is an RPG RPG, I think this is something that's probably going to happen, but again, um, if it doesn't, I'm going to be in deep trouble because you guys are going to skin me alive, but uh, yeah, let's continue. So Cyberpunk 2013 and 2020 have seven major roles we can talk about. I mean, there's more roles, but um, I want to discuss these seven major roles that um, were present in the original um, Cyberpunk 2013 um, pen and paper RPGs. Now, some of them make sense in a video game, some don't, but um, let's start with the first one, and that is a Netrunner. Now, imagine Netrunners as hackers with a cool name name that I love so much, but um, all in all, they use augmented interface system implants to actually search the internet and hack stuff. Now they usually sell that information to fixers, so even though everyone can surf the web, only they can access the menu, which is like a group of apps that allow you to hack, remote control and do all kinds of nasty stuff online. So, as I mentioned before, they sell that information to fixers, and fixers are basically smugglers and mercenaries. Now, they're not those classical mercenaries with big guns, they basically trade in information, so they sell and buy information, so if you want someone found, you contact a fixer. And I mean, just playing as them in a video game would be epic, because you would actually use your charisma and trading and, you know, bartering and that kind of stuff to get information, to finish a certain mission or to find someone, so... Implementing something like this in a game would be actually epic. Now this next class I imagine more like a faction in the game and not as an actual class and those are rocker boys. Now they're rebellious musicians who use music to fight the system, they use musical performances to charm people so maybe we will see some form of this in a class creation but not as a complete class. And when I think about Rocker Boys, I usually think of them as like a faction we will meet in the game and do certain missions for them, rather than having them like, like an actual class or something like that, but we'll see. Now this next class is the one that I'm interested about and those are techies. Now they're basically renegade mechanics and techs, they experiment with augmentations, they put implants in people, they focus on that tech part of the game with abilities to enhance weapons, gear, uh, cyberware etc. So this class could actually appear in the game basically if you go in this direction you would use your expertise and you know technology and that kind of stuff to put more implants into yourself to upgrade weapons to enhance weapons and um, go into that area to finish like certain missions or something like that we talked about fixers and there's something like as i said mercenaries but not classical ones but they don't mainly fight as i said before or assassinate now we have a different class for that and those are solos. 
not hand solos but solos. Now solo is a hired hitman or a bodyguard, they're fast, deadly and use augmentations to do their job but in a silent way. They're very perceptive and they can notice traps and dangers so they usually avoid it and finish a job quickly and quietly. Now last two classes are Nomad and Corporate and Nomad class is a very interesting one since you can imagine them like those gangs from Mad Max. Now Nomads used to work for large corporations and got fired so now they roam the world and the night city the location we're going to play in. They usually stick with families or like gangs so if you're in trouble they can count on them so it's going to be very tricky if you attack one of those guys if they're not an actual class but more like a faction but we have to wait and see for this one. And the last class for today is corporate which I don't think will be a class since they're the guys who own corporations and are only in it for the money but um, when it comes to story I don't think that um, the story is going to go into this direction like making us corporate so this class is definitely not going to be a part of the game. Now look, when it comes to these classes, maybe they're not going to be implemented in that classical way where you pick a class and you build abilities based on that class. Maybe it's going to be like a different mix of abilities that are similar to a certain class. So during the game, as you progress through the game, you will evolve into a certain class depending on your playstyle. So if you want to go quietly, you're going to be something like a solo. If you want to go and just buy and sell information and kind of finish the game like that you're going to be a fixer if you want to like um, put implants into yourself you want to use technology to progress through the game you're going to be a techie so depending on that you're going to create your character with all of these classes and abilities now this one thing is very interesting from the teaser trailer we saw in the description it says, this is how the Psycho Squad got their new member, so my guess is that we will start as a Psycho, then we're going to be healed and be a part of the Psycho Squad and then develop those abilities and evolve to a certain class as we progress through the game, but we shall see that once we're blessed with more footage and information because honestly guys, I got tired for using the same freaking teaser trailer in my every cyberpunk video so I try to make these videos as entertaining as I can but it's impossible with this little information so that's it for now don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to see more and comment down below and tell me which class you like the most and which one you're never going to play so this is it last no meal signing out and stay classy everyone bye bye